game design documents are short documents used all the way from indie studios to AAA companies um, that are used to communicate a game concept and the requirements of that game, either for your own usage or for your team. So usually you would include things like the description of the game, some concept art, the assets that will be needed, the user interface, the game mechanics, what platforms you are going to be targeting. So what we'll do in this lesson is create a game design document, a very simple document for the teleportation game that we are building. So first of all, what is our game about? It's about exploring a low poly environment while avoiding enemies. And what I want to bring in here is a little of um, a mock-up that I'm going to make of the game. So I'm going to bring up one of my notes and note taking application and I'm going to draw what this uh, what this game will will look like and how it will um, behave, how things will behave. So we will be in uh, in this virtual reality world. So that is the player and you will be able to look at uh, at, at some uh, low poly trees can't really draw them very well, but they look great on the on the computer. So we're going to have all these um, trees and the way for us to move in the world will be by using a system called fixed teleportation, wherein you have these teleportation pods around you. And if you look at them using the uh, reticle, once you select them, they will they will shine. And then if you activate your user input, you are moved to that position. And then once you move to that position, only you will only see the teleportation pods that are near you. So you will see some other teleportation pods near you. And you might not see some previous teleportation pods that you had been seeing before. So that allows you to move in virtual reality in a way that um, is comfortable for most people because you transport instantly to another location and, uh, and then within that location, if you have, for example, position tracking, you can sort of walk around a little bit or move around that location. So what else will our, will our game have? Our game will have enemies, which will be these evil big blocks that all they're going to do is just go up and down. So they, they are going to have some sort of movement range and they will be located on top of teleportation pods so that once you move to here, you have to calculate the time so that you don't get crushed by these uh, monsters, these enemies. Also, there will be uh, there will be uh, platforms that that go up. So you have all the all the trees here and some enemies and these things can take you all the way up and then we'll have uh, floating islands or terrains that are going to be above the ground that are going to have more more trees as well. And uh, you can obviously create uh, more complex environments with this. So everything that we will create here can be reused on any project, and also things that you might have built in other of my in other courses of my of mine uh, in virtual reality. You might also be able to bring those elements into this course. So it is a simple, really fun game. And once you're on the platforms, it actually feels a little bit scary because you're going up and you're going down, and you see everything from above. So that is what the game is about. And now what I will do is bring this uh, this mock-up to our game design document and so I'm gonna go and grab this and we're gonna complete our document so let's go back here and uh, bring in this concept art onto our document and describe a little bit more what this game is about so what are the target platforms this is a completely cross-platform game so it will run both on mobile VR on desktop VR, no matter what platform you have, as long as it can run Unity. And it is, it can be a seated experience, but it can also be a standing experience. Although we're not actively making use of position tracking, once you are on a certain position, you, if you have position tracking, you can actually move a little bit around of that position. So what about the user interface? We, this, uh, we will use what's called gaze-based interaction. So we'll use a reticle which is that ring that you look at and you can use it to select things. It's like a mouse cursor, but in virtual reality. So that's the main interaction. Then we have a teleportation system, which is a fixed system. So this is uh, teleportation bots on a fixed spot. Or it can also be a moving spot, like in a platform that is moving up and down. But basically you cannot wander around freely in this environment. And the way this works is that um, they work on proximity. So you can only see 
can only proximity well you can only see or interact proximity you can only see or interact with the pods that are near you and they will uh, they illuminate when you select them so those are some basic ui aspects of this game then what about the game mechanics that has already been kind of described part of it in the ui uh, basically we are exploring or we're moving through fixed you can call them pods or uh, waypoints and and uh, so you can't uh, uh, wander freely and also you have to avoid enemies and you are able to uh, hop onto platforms that can take you to other to other parts of the level so there will be these floating floating islands or whatever you want to call them that where you can keep on moving and exploring then what sort of assets are we going to need to create this game we are going to need a few models so we are going to need trees we're going to need enemies and that uh, that might include well in this case we'll be using a model but also a uh, texture in this case this would be a model what else will we need we, we are going to need to set up our our teleportation pods for which we will use a texture for the teleportation pods and also we will uh, will have some terrain we, uh, there is one part that's going to have a bit of an irregular terrain so that I can show you how you can go up a slope basically so we will have a terrain model and then we uh, we will also have a texture for the grass with like a low poly kind of grass and I think those are all the assets that we are going to need and yeah that, that is indeed everything so this is it this gives you a, an, a simple idea of what, uh, of what you can do and as a challenge for this lecture it is an open challenge so the challenge for you is to uh, do a similar process of a uh, game idea that you have for yourself so think of the game that you want to really want to make and outline it in a game document so that is part one of the challenge and part two of the challenge is go and create a new project for your game and maybe start working on it on the most simple version of your game that you can think of so that that is i say an open challenge because you don't have to you do it to complete but it is strongly strongly recommended all right so that is all for this lesson and now let's get started with building our game